Hello, this is Izzy, and uh, I run Irish Snow 35, Art of Irish Snow, and um, I'm going to be showing you my boat that I built in UDK. It's uh, pretty big. It's going to be for a school project. I'm in uh, a digital effects and animation project at a community college, and my major is, of course, digital effects and animation. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here on the boat. Um, you can see here, this is a bridge, right in here. I'm going to go in a little bit here and show you the bridge first of all. It's uh, pretty cool. This entire boat was built with uh, using static meshes, um, and a few static meshes were created with builder brushes. All of this stuff, um, well most of it, was already included in UDK. There were a few uh, static mesh packs that I imported from other sources, and those static meshes do belong to whoever created them. I claim no credit for them. So here we are at the bridge. I'm going to start a plane here so that you can see the bridge in full detail. I'll walk around a little bit here. And you can see that the lighting is pretty good. And uh, these are all static meshes that have been given emissive light properties. None of this is operational. I don't know that it's going to do anything yet, but it could. I have a few switches in the throttle there. This is all made out of static meshes already in UDK, as I said. I've made a little hologram here. I'm going to add a little sound effect to that and maybe some rotation in a little while. This is still a work in progress. Um, I will post the whole thing when I get done with it. Under here, you're going to have the electrical system for the bridge and for the rest of the boat. Um, this door will open eventually using Unreal Kismet. Under here will be sort of a weapon locker thing and I'm not really sure what's going to be up here yet. It may just be like a lounge area or a place to uh, store the troops. Not really certain yet. As I mentioned before this boat is pretty big. There's pretty. There's going to be a uh, cannon out here, possibly that may rotate. Um, this glass panel that you see up here, and the ones on the sides that cover the little openings of the triangle, were created with builder brushes turned into static meshes. It's very interesting how you do that. And if you would like me to post a video, I can. But you can look up ways to do it on YouTube. You can go up here on top of the roof. There's going to be some vehicles up here. And up here is a maintenance area. You hit that button and the door opens. It also will automatically close behind you. I'm not very experienced in Unreal Kismet yet, but I'm getting there. This is a pretty open area right now. Um, these barrels are movable. You can shoot them. As well as this little thing right here. Now, I was getting pretty creative with this, so I decided to create sort of something that you may not think of robots doing. Um, this little ball here is movable, and I decided to make it sort of a ball that you think the robots would play with, like when they're bored and waiting to get back to shore or to base or wherever. Maybe they got bored and just decided to play a little kickball or soccer or whatnot. I also found out that the physics gun will pick this up. I'm going to type this in right here. So you can pick that up with a right click and throw it. Or you can push it, but I don't recommend doing that as you end up pushing things pretty far with this thing. You can pretty much fling it over the side if you're not careful. But you can push stuff. And throw it. Back here as well, this gun is... Well, not the gun. This button right here will open this door back here. Well, it should anyway. Apparently it's not going to work. Okay. Oh well. I'll have to fix that. Not a big deal. There we go. 
There's also a staircase over there. And we're gonna walk back around the other side. If I can get over this ledge without uh, falling off into the empty void. I don't have the engines or motors created quite yet, but the back of this here is pretty detailed. The engines are going to be back here. Ignore my dog. And I'm also going to have some rotating rudders down here eventually that you're going to see. The boat's actually going to be beached on an island when the final project is done. So I think the spinning rotate, the spinning rotating, uh, rotor blades will be pretty interesting. And that's pretty much the entire boat. It's going to have a little bit more detail to it when I get done. I also found out something pretty cool. I don't know if you've ever done this in UDK. Free camera. Which will free it up and then hit J. The robot will dance. And hit K. The robot will dance some more. I thought that was pretty funny. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Izzy, signing off.